Prime Minister Narendra Modi offered prayers at a temple in Hyderabad on Saturday ahead of the inauguration of the 216-feet Statue of Equality, which honours the 11th-century Hindu saint Ramanujacharya. The rupees 1,000 crore project was funded by donations from devotees globally. The inner sanctorum deity of Sri Ramanujacharya is made of 120 kilograms of gold to commemorate the 120 years the saint spent on earth. Events began from February the 2nd and Telangana Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao will be co-hosting the event with Chinna Jiyar Swami. Several other chief ministers, politicians, celebrities and actors are also expected to attend the function. Veteran singer Lata Mangeshkar, who has been admitted in the ICU of a Mumbai hospital since last month, is now critical. As per a statement from her doctor, at the Breach Candy Hospital, her health condition has deteriorated again. The condition of Lata Mangeshkar has deteriorated again and she is on a ventilator and critical, said Dr. Pratith Samdhani of Breach Candy Hospital. He said she is in the ICU and is under observation. She was taken off ventilator last week. The 92-year-old was admitted to Breach Candy in the first week of January after she contracted COVID-19. The centre has placed a purchase order with Biological E for 5 crore doses of COVID vaccine Corbevax, each costing Rs 145, excluding taxes, the Indian Express reported quoting official sources on Saturday. The government has yet to decide on which segment of beneficiaries this new vaccine would be administered to. However, sources say discussions are underway in technical groups and in the Health Ministry's Immunisation Division about expanding the scope of the precaution doses which are currently being administered to healthcare and frontline workers as well as senior citizens with comorbidities. The Rashtriya Lok Dal has lodged an FIR at Bagpat police station against 11 persons in connection with an allegedly fake Twitter post which has gone viral and in which party chief Jayant Chaudhary asked voters to refrain from supporting the RLD candidate Ahmed Hamid from Bagpat constituency in UP. A fake post is being made viral before elections in Bagpat. FIR has been lodged. Let the people identify those who create photoshopped posts because they have been unable to answer questions on development, Jayanth tweeted. Amrita Farnavis set Twitter on fire after she linked traffic congestion to divorce in Mumbai and said 3% of divorces in Mumbai are because of traffic jam as people are not able to give time to their families. The comment, which she says she made as a Mumbaiker and not as Maharashtra's former Chief Minister Devendra Farnavis' wife, led to massive trolling on social media and off social media as well with Mumbai Mayor Kishori Pednekar, Shiv Sena MP Priyanka Chaturvedi commenting that they have not heard such ridiculous logic. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.